So you have not heard from your father yes. since 1997? Yes, when I was 12. Yeah. I never oh seen him. Oh my God. And did she eventually escape again to China? Uh, no. No? What? Yeah, she passed away after that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my yeah. God. Wow. So from that torture, that at like 18 or 19, she passed away. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jimmy Park. I'm a North Korean defector human rights activist. So I know a lot of you have just seen me coming here alone saying hi. Today I have a very special guest from North Korea like myself. She lives in Chicago. I cannot wait to share her story with you guys. Today we are going to talk about everything like how she became free, what parts of North Korea she used to live and how she even came to America. So Nina, would you want to give us just a quick introduction? Hi everyone, my name is Nina Che. I'm a North Korea defector. I'm today... Uh, no, it's okay. <laughs> She's very nervous, so I think yeah. please show your support to her on your comment. So Nina, when did you born? When were you born in North Korea? I was born 1986. Oh, yes. in the parts of what part of Korea? Uh, Hangyongbukdo, Eunseongun, Namyeonggu. Oh, so it's yes. like a really northern part. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I mean. I mean, Korea is a very small country, right. but because mm -hmm. there's no freedom of movement, mm -hmm. I've never been to your region. <laughs> I know. <laughs> right. So mm -hmm. is that you were born and you were living there until yes. the point of your escape? Yes. Oh. Yeah. So, I mean, tell me about your family. Did you have any sister or brothers? Oh, I had a brother oh. and sister. Were you the oldest? Or yeah, the, oh. I'm youngest. You're the youngest? Yes. Oh, I see. From so the North Korea? They escaped first? Yes. And then later you followed? Yes. Oh, I'm like, the last one. You're the last family. one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So before we go into your escape story, mm -hmm. I wonder, you know, how what life was like in the Onsong part when you were born? Did you go to school? Yes, I just graduated elementary school. Oh, so that's all you had, the mm -hmm. elementary. I mean, this is a guy, like North Korea is a communist, free education, but most of kids cannot afford to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I only had like a few semesters in my elementary school. Right. Do mm -hmm. you remember the things that you learned in school? What, what did you remember the subject or like what was your favorite thing to learn in school? Yeah, the subject to Kim Il Sung. Oh, the, they're like self, mm. uh, the ideology of the Kims, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's like all you remember yeah. from school time? Mm -hmm. Yes, oh. at the time. Mm -hmm. why, why were you not able to go into school, like middle school? Was your family poor or what was your like family situation? Since the 1994, mm. great uh, starvation in the start in 1994. Right. So it's... Uh, Effect in my family too oh. at the time, so mm. I cannot go to school. Oh, and okay, yes. Oh, I that's know. why. Mm -hmm. Was your father or mother were farmers? So what? Do, what were they doing in the system? My father was official. Oh, he was official. Yes, oh. he was official, and my mother is was teachers. She was a teacher? Yes, oh, uh, chemistry yeah. teachers, but mm. uh, she quit oh, teaching. Okay. Yeah. She quit teaching because uh, yeah, at that time the Asia didn't stop and the Asia teachers, even doctors and officials. Mm. So you don't have a food that much. So I um, mean the ration stopped, right? Yes. Even your teacher or like doctor, mm -hmm. even you are working for the government. Yes. The, right. the regime would not give you food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there was really no point of going to work. Yes. Right? Because your mm -hmm. children at home starving. Yeah. Why would you go working for the government why you don't even receive anything? Yes. That's why oh mm. uh, my mom is quit the teachers, oh. and she have to find the two ways oh. and food. 
Right. Cooking. Yeah. Like what kind of things? So in North Korea, mm-hmm. like I was eating a lot of those frozen potatoes, like ongamza. Yes. They become very like dark. Yeah. You right. put the sakari in, right? Oh yeah. I know. You remember sakari? And people say yeah. like, what is sakari? It's like it's a, some substitute for sugar. Right. P- really bad for your health. Yeah. But mm-hmm. still, like that's a very substitute, right? Mm-hmm. And people keep asking me, why North Koreans eat frozen potato? Why don't you just eat the normal potato? <laughs> 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 like, because they, yeah. we don't have a proper like home heating system. Mm-hmm. Yes. The food go like frozen and rotten. Mm-hmm. So that is why we eat the frozen potato, not because we like that. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no so because we, you see, that was the only thing we could afford. Right. And I. And like, what what were the things that you also people loved eating in your region? We are not uh, the potato that much. Mm. And then, mm. <laughs> as your, I don't know. Yeah, my hometown. region is known yeah, for no. potatoes. That's yeah, why. Yeah, but <laughs> my hometown is not. So, I just remember though at the time, mm. the my mom is cooked as kind of soup. Oh yeah, like a soup, lot of like. Yeah. As, as clear as water. Right. It's just and water. O- and and some a sort. pinch of the cornstarch. Right. And I just still remember that. <laughs> right. I yeah. know, like, do you, I was really shocked when I came to America. Mm-hmm. People talking about these cookbooks. Like in North Korea, we don't ever know what cookbook is, right? We don't have the laws, like the ingredients to make something. We just yeah. eat whatever we have at mm-hmm. the moment. And yes. that was like, so were you always like hungry until the point you escaped? Yes, we mm. not ima- that much enough food all, all the time, yeah. all the day. So I, instead of just go to school, mm. and I have to find the food too with the mom. Right. So that's why I quit the school. Right. Too. Yeah. yeah. And then that's like our job mm-hmm. as children is like chopping the wood, washing right. laundry, mm-hmm. and like going pick yeah. up like plants for our rabbits, like do a lot of domestic work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I did a lot. Of All right, like pick yeah. a lot of those rabbit food. Yeah. People here call them salad. Right. I was so shocked. <laughs> because but the salad is in America, it's just potato, but yeah. uh, North Korea, it's not. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. So that was your life, and so how? What gave you idea that you had to escape? Like what? How did you find out that you could even escape? So like, uh, mm-hmm. did you? So your sister and mm-hmm. brother escaped first, in search of food. Yes. Oh, uh, first uh, my father escaped first. Your father? Yeah, my father oh, first. Wow. After my brother escaped. Oh. Um, Every my family member she and uh, disappear is by one, <laughs> oh. one by one. So your father escaped to China. Yes. Did mm-hmm. he tell you guys that he was escaping or no? Because it's so dangerous in North. We don't do that, right? Yes. It's like we can't even afford to he, say goodbye mm-hmm. when we escape. Yeah. So he, he never told me. <laughs> what, I didn't know that. What year did did he escape for the first time? My father was at the time and. Great famine and oh. there's a starvation start in right. 1996, uh, and so mm. he quit. He fired the job, so mm. he lo- lost the job too. Right. So and then we don't have a food that much, and oh. then my mom teacher quit too. So oh. we don't have a. He's supposed to take care of the kid, but. Yeah. No job, no money, right. so they don't know how to do business too either. Mm. So he first escaped to China. To China. So in t- 1996, he went to China. He escaped in 1997. Seven. Yes, yeah. after a year, he tried to find a way, but right. he couldn't. Did he come back later? No, he never came back. <laughs> So you have not heard from your father yes. since yes. 1997? Yes, when I 12, yeah, I never oh seen him. Oh my god. So you, mm-hmm. how, so one day you woke up, he was gone? Oh, uh, but like, how do you know that he escaped? He could have just like died from starvation, right? Like a lot of family members during mm-hmm. that time, right now and never came back because they died on the road. Yeah, but I heard that from the, my mom, 
Oh. And after he escaped one month, mm. and my father is escaped to North, <laughs> North to Korea to China. To China. So yes, your mom China. heard mm -hmm. about it, but he, yeah. you never heard back from him ever again. No, never again. <laughs> wow. So okay, that's. I mean, <laughs> We like when we talk to these North Koreans, right? Like you just saw like how this is like even normal, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so that's your father's story, and your brother and sister how they escaped then? Uh, <laughs> this is like a movie right now. Yeah. So <laughs> after my father escaped, and you know it's the uh, North Korea system, and after. At the time, it's 1997, and mm. then it's which means the betrayed the country. After my father escaped, and then our family is kind of like the surveillance, surveillance or under surveillance yes. because your father because escaped. Of, yes, because yeah. of my father. Because you guys have been tar targeted by the regime, yes. keep looking at it. Why, why? Yeah, that's why. And we don't have a pictures in North Korea. Oh. Whatever we graduated high school and university, even we cannot go to university too right, because right. my father escaped. Mm. So, and my sister, my brother is know about Little B. So right. we don't have a picture in North Korea. Whatever we graduated high school, and right. you can not go to the. So this is the thing, guys. Like the mm -hmm. North Korea got these things called the Sangbun system. So this <laughs> yeah. is something called the guilt by association. With the one person in your family does something wrong, mm -hmm. everybody in that family guilt together. Like yes. they say, your blood is tainted. Right. So that's mm -hmm. why, because of your father who escaped, the your brothers knew mm -hmm. once they graduate from high school, there was really nothing they could do in the in North Korean society. Yeah. Only mm -hmm. thing they could become is like collective farmers. In North Korea, farmers are so poor, they cannot keep any grains. It's a collective farm, you have to give everything to the regime. So mm -hmm. most likely, if you're a farmer, you're gonna die from starvation. So they, your siblings realized that, and that's why they escaped. Yes. What year did they leave North Korea? Oh, uh, second is my brother, oh, escaped in 1999. In 1999, he escaped to China. At almost end of the famine time, right? Yeah. It was Oh mm -hmm. wow! And you were you guys living on the border, like the on the border, the, with the in you China? Had in front yeah. of the river, yes. then, like me. So you right. were able to see China. So, yeah, able to see. Every day you guys get to see the lights yes. from China. Mm -hmm. People are rich in China, so you knew China was better place. Okay, so they have a lot of food. We knew. Everyone. Yeah, you can smell it. <laughs> you <laughs> smell it. It's like it's so annoying. You know, bigger <laughs> things, and when you open the uh, nine time, yeah. And then it, North Korea is all dark. I know. So, but China, there is a lot of lights. Lights. Yeah. So definitely, we know. Uh, so your brother escaped in 1999, and mm -hmm. you haven't heard back from him. Have you heard him? <laughs> he one time, yeah, back to home. he came back. Yeah, once, once. He, he, was he arrested or he just came back voluntarily? Voluntarily. And he sneaked in back yeah. and then. Sneaked back and. He slept it's one day. One night. And then and then he skipped again. Again. So and then he never come back and So <laughs> he, you after that you never heard back from him. Okay. Yeah. So you guys, so back then the North Korea just escaped almost like the migration North Koreans began in the nineties during this famine when your father was starting escaping, mm -hmm. right? Until then really nobody was escaping from North Korea. So back then though the security wasn't as tight. Like mm -hmm. right now, very impossible to escape. But back then, like regime even was not used to defectors themselves. So even those yeah. like guards was not as like alert like right right now these days. So okay, so you haven't heard back from your brother since then. And what yeah. about your sister? It's a long story, but yeah, my sister tried uh, escape too. Mm. After my brother too, and mm. my sister escaped to China. But um, she sent it back. She got arrested. Korea again. Okay, and so she was arrested and yes. caught and got back. Got back at the North Korea. Oh, how and old was she when she? She was twenty. Korean age. Yeah, Korean so it was age. was like eighteen, 20. like nine. Okay, teenager. Yes. Oh, and how, I'm sure like back then they were not sentencing for that long time, right? Back then was like. 
he was still better than now. Of course, yeah. yeah. Just uh, he, she got, uh, she went to the jail. Mm. Uh, just around two months. Right. But then she tortures the boyfu. Is a the yeah the security intelligence of North Korea. Very hard because uh, my brother, my father, because uh. my father, they they thought she mm. connect with the father mm. so she tortured is so difficult to hide because uh your state thought your sister found your father in china mm -hmm. they were torturing her a lot more yes than they and would have been and of course your sister didn't find your father in china yes she uh, didn't know it's, she just just escaped right. but they thought and with right. the connected uh, father right so that's why she got in Tortured, tortured way more okay way more than the others and did she eventually escaped again to china oh uh, no no what yeah she passed away after that oh my gosh <laughs> oh my yeah. god wow so from that torture that at like 18 or 19 she passed away yeah, after two years mm -hmm. from the yeah from disease they they get from the jail oh my gosh <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah that's happening <laughs> okay I, I i absolutely didn't ex expect that mm -hmm. so yeah. now it was 2000 around 2000 right mm -hmm. uh how old were you when you were trying to escape oh uh, i was 25 you're 25 mm -hmm. yeah. and it was 2000 what year were you escaping uh, 2011 2011 so yes. you were escaping after me <laughs> oh, really yeah what? i was escaping 2007 oh really? <laughs> yeah so in yeah, 2011 <laughs> when kim jong-un was new to the country that's when you escaped right, right? uh when i hold it in thailand oh and then right. kim, kim jong-il died. died so right before his death you escaped yes so the no, people die. Oh, people so die right before his death. Yeah, when I die, mm. then. Oh. And then. So what's your like story? How did you find the people? Like how did you get out? It, because it, by the time 2011, that was pretty hard to get out, right? It was getting a lot harder by then. Now it's impossible. But uh, yeah, now uh, better than now. But yeah, yeah that 2011 time was mm -hmm. still the guards and the shoot to gear order on the border. Yes. They were really trying to prevent yeah. defection. Yeah, but I don't have a choice mm. because after my mother escaped, so I have stayed by herself. So what? So your father escapes, <laughs> your brother escapes, your sister escapes, then your mom? <laughs> when was she escaping? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. Mm, I was the last one, right? Right. Uh, so. I was living with the mom. You were living with the mom, right? Yeah, until mm. 25. And mm. after two, my mom escaped. So I escaped. I, I don't have a living the anymore mm. to longer than in North Korea. There's That's no why. reason for you to stay yes. there. Yeah, right, right. That's true. Uh, and did, did your mom tell you that she was escaping or she also didn't say anything? Uh, she not really told mm. me mm. and i'm going i just she said oh i just go <laughs> oh, i'm just going somewhere but i don't but i guess i just uh. guess by myself uh. because uh. if you she say she go where she they'll go and then right. it's just only china only china is yeah. the only option so the other way why so when i was escaping i didn't tell my father either because right. yeah everyone do that well because it's like one if they know that you're escaping and didn't stop us if they get caught and tortured it's not good for them knowing that right. knowledge That's, yeah so one is we protect them mm -hmm. and second is also they if they say don't go mm -hmm. we have no option not to go yeah so we have to go that's why we do that for two reasons mm -hmm. so your mom was living how what was a month apart like she was living in 2011 she escaped uh, 2010 10 okay and then in you were september and after three months my mom oh. escaped i escaped uh, 2011 oh, on january yeah january okay. yeah yeah so 
now let's go. So you found a broker in North Korea? Uh, no, no, no at all. I just yeah by myself. You literally just cross the river. Yes, by yourself. Yes. How though? There are guards and everywhere. How do you right. find a spot that there is no because impossible? Yeah, I was uh, I was a little escape uh, scared too because I don't have a broker anything. Right. And I don't have a relative in China anything. Right. You don't I know don't, anybody. So <sighs> I was scared too. <laughs> so you found a spot that guards was not watching. Between the the, the shifts of yeah. the guards when they were shifting, yeah. that's when you cross the frozen river in January, yeah, right? January, so yeah. The river mm-hmm. must be frozen. Frozen, yes. So, but the thing is that once mm. you, I have thought about it too. Mm. But problem is, if you go to China side, mm. you don't know anybody, right? And you can get caught, right? So, how did you figure out in China? Uh, yeah, so that's uh, <sighs> as a, my hometown is close by the China, right? right? And it's a menu walk, mm. and it's just 50 minutes. Yeah, that's it. But then I sc- scared too, and the China police too. Right. The police would catch you. Yeah, catch you me because I cannot speak in Chi- Chinese either. Mm-hmm. So I scared. So I just turn or- run around the, around the mountain, under the mountain. It's yeah. A- turn around. I just around six six uh, hours. Six hours around the two city. To so you went China, also. You went China. to the mountain that the side where nobody really going by. Yeah. You walk there for six hours. So you run inside and going towards inside, inside China, China, not the border town. Because border, border town is too dangerous. Yeah, border town, but um. it's close. In the, it's close. The um. city is very close, but I'm is is scared though. Right. Garden, this is a Chinese book garden. Right, chi- yeah. right, right. So I just turn uh, around. Oh, so you went further from that, yeah, like Chinese guards. Garden, yes. And then what happens? Oh my God, this is like, <laughs> who does that? <laughs> I heard these stories, like people literally do that. Then you go there, and then did you meet somebody or? Oh, uh, when I went to China city, mm. and then it was winter time, so cold, right? <laughs> It was so very cold, yeah. so, but I don't have nobody knows in right. China, so I have to find the one uh, better than outside because of cold. Yeah. And I went to the, some apart- apartment, I- apartment lobby, Yeah. and there was nobody there, so yeah. I just uh, stay there. In the so, lobby of yeah, some auntie, apartment. Yeah, mm-hmm. until morning. The some Chinese be uh, Chinese oh. they came is uh, asking in the speak in China, oh. but I don't understand it at all. Right. So he tried to ask speaking okay mm. and Korea, uh, and then he spoke Korean. Then he spoke so Korea. he's yeah. trying to say in Chinese and you don't understand. Don't understand. He guess so. you're North Korean. Yes, he guess uh. and, and then I reacted and mm. uh, answered. Oh, I'm from the chi- North Korea, but mm. I need uh, to find my mom in China. So, oh. I, but I don't know. But I have some some Chinese people in the handphone numbers. Oh. So, I asking, I ask to do the Chinese to use a phone, phone using the oh. phone. So he gave me oh. and to call the the phone number. Oh. But. Yeah, mm, I couldn't find his mother, mother too. So right. he asking me, "Oh, what can I, how can I do mm-hmm. now? So mm-hmm. you don't have a way now. So mm-hmm. uh, I, I can do anything." <laughs> I said, <laughs> oh, "So you said like you can do anything." Cause yeah, I can do anything. Course, so yeah. I can work in anything. So yeah, he, yeah, he said recommend as one of the his friend and who worked as a business and child restaurant. Uh, he recommended the, the friend. So he, he so he called his friend and said that you are his friend. Yeah. So he you were working as a waitress in the restaurant? Yeah, restaurant. Yeah. Uh, in, in that border town. Yeah, border town. It's across by my uh, house. <laughs> and yeah, it was, <laughs> how long were you working at the restaurant? Um 
four months. Four months. Yes, up to four months. I worked four months. Even I don't understand in Chinese. Right. So I just carry up things. <laughs> yeah, you're just doing a lot of just working because yeah. you cannot serve. Mm -hmm. Cause no, yeah. Yeah. And after four months, I just scared because the restaurant is a customer always the police coming. Right. And just uniform change, even not wear the uniform, but yeah. sometimes wear the uniform in the police uniform. I was so scared. Of course. Yeah. So I feel like not safe every day. Mm. And so I escaped the <laughs> restaurant. Yes. And, and then you. And then I went to the part of this, my hometown. You went back to North Korea? Uh, no, 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 no. no. It's, uh, I'm not back to this North Korea. No. I just went to the. Escaped from the, the restaurant uh, to Yun Yun. There's all different parts of yeah, China. Yun Yun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yun Yun. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I oh. went over there. Oh. And and then I met some wo some woman Chinese oh. man woman. Oh. And then when you walk to the Chinese restaurant. Oh. And. She's, uh, she tell me if you need help and mm. then just call me and mm. then I had, uh, had a whole phone number mm. so I called her, I want to really escape the here so mm. again mm. <laughs> so he helped me uh, mm. to escape the door next door. so mm. I went to the door in Yanji oh. and with the whole house mm. and uh, just around two months and mm. I uh, she helped me in the, to find my brother in China, I uh, in South Korea. So your brother was in South Korea? Yes. And uh, then she helped to f find him in yes. South Korea? Yeah. Oh my god, that's wonderful. So your brother made it to South Korea? Yes. That's great. Yeah, that's... Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, so that's how he was sending money, sending the broker to get you yeah. through Thailand to escape. Yes, right. From the China. From China. Yeah. So you, that's why you went Thailand. Mm -hmm. And why did you, did you then choose America? Because your brother was in South Korea. Most <laughs> of the factors go to South Korea. Right. Yeah. That's what. Yeah. I, how did you even know America? Mm, I did a holiday from the mom. Your mom told you about this. Country. Yes. Uh, because of one of my mom brother mm. and relative brother, and he was living. In USA. Oh, I yeah. See. He visited North Korea three times as a tourist. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's why she told me. My mom uh, told me it's between the South Korea. Uh, but one thing, South Korea is I don't feel is I'm escaped a part of the, my hometown uh, and my country. Mm. That's why I just choose in America. So you mean you didn't want to go back to Korea? Because you left North Korea, or why you chose America again? Uh, oh, yeah, I don't. I wanna escape this father then. Uh, border, father? Oh, so you want to go furthest? Yeah, from North Korea. Than, yeah, you don't North wanna Korea. go anything closer to that country ever again. <laughs> right. I, 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 yeah. Yeah, you I know. Fear you, yeah. yeah, South Korea just we divide. It's the same country, same. Pretty close, yeah, right? Plus, you know, yeah. I don't build even between the yeah. You don't even feel safe there. Yeah. yeah. Me too. If I go to Asia, I mm. don't feel safe. Right. Because I'm closer to North Korea. Right. When I'm in the West, I feel the, like home. I feel so yeah. safe. Right. <laughs> that's oh, right. that's why you chose America. But yeah. I mean, in North Korea, we learn about America, but like they tell us America is horrible. Americans are right. monsters. Yeah, right. Did you have that or how? Of course, I heard you, that. You yeah, believe, of course. Did you believe it though? <laughs> uh, when I kid? When I you, believe that. Of course, right? But after around the 12 or 10, I'm not. No. So I just, I'm not really here. Yeah. yeah. You were not believe. like, you didn't believe the propaganda anymore. Yeah. But I see. Yeah, that's. Oh. Of course, when I kid, I believe that. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Yeah. So now, did you get to see your brother again after you came to America? Yes, he came to the USA too. He came so. visit you in Chicago. Uh, when I live in the Seattle. Oh, yeah. you were living in Seattle. So when you came to America first time, you were in the West Coast. Oh, Utah? Utah, Salt right, Lake right. City. Yeah. yeah. I went to Salt Lake City first time. And that was 2000, you said 12? 2012, yes. So I arrived in 2012. In 2012. Yeah. And 
you were in Utah mm -hmm. and then your brother came to visit you. Yeah. How many years ago was a gap that you didn't see each other? Uh, pretty long. It's 15 years old. 15, oh my. Did you recognize him? Um, I recognize little boys. Okay. And little have, yeah, little but not too much. I, right? Yeah, not like, too much. I, I lost my sister for seven years too. Mm -hmm. And I think if we just walked on the street without knowing that we were sisters, I would not have been recognized. But because mm -hmm. I was like 13 and I was 20 years old by then I was singer, right. so we were like mm -hmm. kids and adults. Right. So mm -hmm. huge difference. Yeah. Mm. So you saw him and then now I know that you're still searching your mom, right? Like uh, you haven't heard back from her since then. Yes. So I'm looking forward to my mom. And too. your father. Yeah, and my father too. <sighs> I think they're somewhere in China. I think yeah. you are gonna see them. I know like when you talk North Koreans, all of us have lost our family members. Like, all right. <laughs> it's a universal thing that we all go through that too. Mm -hmm. The family is torn apart. And yeah, or spread out. Everybody just spread. Yeah, it's... Um, Wow. So now I know you actually recently started to speaking out and started <laughs> this YouTube channel called Unicorn Nation. It's yeah. a very interesting concept. So you guys are doing it with one American, one mm -hmm. South Korean, one North Korean. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you guys talking about a subject in a very different perspective and mm -hmm. in a hilarious and informative way <laughs> i will put yeah. the link down here guys so you can check it out i'm so glad that you know usually there are not many north koreans in america right, right. Mm -hmm. and i think more people like you decide to speak out and share your story i think we can really let the world know what's happening then mm -hmm. we can collectively gather that voice and pressure our politicians mm -hmm. to work yeah. with this Chinese regime yeah. and North Korean regime to treat North Koreans in a better way. Yeah, respect yeah. human rights there. But so now what's, what, uh, are you happy being free? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah. Are you, yeah. Are you satisfied? Yeah, I'm satisfied, uh, uh, hopefully. <laughs> now. Yeah. Of course, even we don't know it's pretty means freedom mm. means but yeah. i bound here <laughs> right real freedom oh uh, what are yeah. the, like favorite things you like to do in america mm. or in chicago <laughs> chicago mm. uh, i don't know <laughs> i know i know I like you, you like eating oh so, uh, I yeah <laughs> i eat a lot <laughs> So when I met you for the first time, you were like, Oh, yelling. you remember? <laughs> but you and I were the only one who was eating for uh, four night. And they were like, what's wrong with these two girls? Like eating throughout the night. And right. it's just like, there's someone like me sitting there just eating so much. Right. So I'm, I keep telling people, I still catch, I'm still i like still catching up on mm -hmm. food that I didn't mm -hmm. get to eat as a child. Yeah. Uh, do you like American food or like any European food here? Uh... I love everything. <laughs> you love everything. So you're a big foodie, yeah. okay? Yeah. And uh, so you now, how did you decide to do this YouTube? Um, yeah, decide to YouTube is it was the first time in for find my mother. Mm. Oh, so you were yeah, looking it's for your start, mom. Yeah, I was mm. looking for my mother. It's uh, since ten years I couldn't find my mother yet. So. Mm. But in co I tried to before Corona, I went mm -hmm. to the China, but in no way it pronounced. So, so you went to China to look for your mom. I tried, oh. but I couldn't uh, went to China. So because, because why? Uh, at the time I was studying. Ah, uh, you're studying, so you and okay. mm -hmm. I didn't get the citizen too. Uh. so yeah, I didn't go. Oh, yeah, okay. But okay. then. After get the citizen and then you I got tried, citizenship. Yeah, right, citizenship. Right, yeah. After got try to go, but yeah, Corona happening too. Oh, such a bad and timing. Yeah, so mm. I don't have a two way to find mom. So right. that's why I started to YouTube to oh, find the mother. Yeah. So many people to the Iman kind right. of so 
some the South Korean TV show. Yeah, TV yeah. show, mm. and they bound as mother to right. daughter. So that's why I tried to. to Have you gone on Imangab yet? Not yet. Not I, yet. I will try it. Okay, maybe. okay. Yeah, if you. Uh, I will connect you to the thank you. No, thank no you. problem. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's a guys. I got on that show, and I also got on that show to look for my sister. And yeah, I saw. The, that I know a lot of people North Koreans watch that show in China, and they fight and their family members. So in a way that I I completely understand. Like I did all of this too to look mm -hmm. for my sister. That was the beginning. That's, yeah, that's the beginning. <laughs> yeah, that's like when I was like, okay, I'm trying to find find her. Mm -hmm. And then you realize more and more mm -hmm. how much the international community do not know what's yeah, happening right. to North Korean yeah. people. So I'm very grateful that you are joining this movement. <laughs> Thank you. And I cannot, Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> no, I cannot wait for the people to hear your story. And mm -hmm. I, I don't think anything I can say to make you fear about what you went through. It's just. It's just unheard of, you know. This is only can exist in North Korea right now. And do you still talk to your brother right now? Yeah, sometimes we cuckoo. Oh, you that's know, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's Korean app. It's yeah, like, Korean app. Yeah. We just put a talking message too. Yeah, so we can connect to yeah each does, other. Does he want to come to America someday? Oh, uh, my guess is he wants someday. Yeah, someday he wants. Yeah. yeah, but now he's okay being in South Korea. Yes. Mm. <laughs> anyway, Nina, it was such an honor, and thank you so much for sharing your story. I mean, with me, with us, it's a it's a privilege to you know hear that, and thank you so much for being open too. I I know it's. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. No, <laughs> it's very hard to I talk want about to it. Share my story too. <laughs> no. Yeah. Thank you guys. I know all you can do to support is that you know me. For, I mean, first share this video, so hopefully more people share, and hopefully your mom somewhere in the world are gonna watch this video. And also go follow you know Nina's channel and get to know her, get to know more like about variety of North Korean stories because ultimately, even we are coming from North Korea, everybody goes through a different journey. And I think that's why you know I'm always very thrilled whenever someone like wanna come out and talk about their stories. So guys, I love you, and I cannot wait to see you guys next time. And we love you. See you. Bye, guys. Hi. Right, thank you. Bye. Yeah, bye.